So hello to all my loyal followers and subscribers and welcome to Kismet Rising. I just want to say that I've been sick for the last week so my voice is still really awful and um, that is also the reason that I'm posting this so very late. I also want to just say that I've been uh, traveling for the last two and a half months and so I've been very neglectful as far as videos have been concerned. I have not uploaded the energy forecasts as I usually do and so I'm going to make up for it and you're going to see that I uh, upload much more in May. I'm really going to try my best to do that as well as process all of the client requests that I have not been able to until now. To all of you who are new subscribers or new followers or you're just dropping by, welcome also to the channel. And so today we're using the saltwater reading cards and you can just go ahead and choose option one, two or three as usual and I'm going to get into the reading. And so for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we are asking what is our monthly oracle card guidance for the month of April 2023? What do we need to know for the month of April 2023 and how can we be guided through this month? Yeah, so once again, I just want to apologize for uploading this so late this month. It's largely because I have been uh, sick in these last days and I wasn't really able to do anything during that time. And so for those of you who have chosen option one, we have the bubbler crab, we have uh, seashells and we have the albatross. So just with the first look here, I think that the bubble crab, it offers a lot of creativity and a, almost like a new energy that comes into one's life. Um, a lot of a bubbly energy, um, something that's full of vibrance and life. It could be that you feel energized at the beginning of this month and that the month, or not necessarily directly at the beginning of the month, but the first half or of the month gives you some reason to rejoice, some reason to feel happy and to feel more creative and to feel as if you have a renewed energy, a new renewed vitality and vigor and that a new a renewed creativity as well. Or perhaps you feel like you could um, have a rejuvenated sense um as to whatever it is that you're looking at. It could be that you feel like it's time to start something new or start looking at something um, in a different light than what you have been already. It might also be that you've decided to walk um, sidewards with whatever your project is, whatever it is that you are considering right now. It might be that you've decided to look at it in a slightly different way, perhaps to be a bit more crafty, with what it, what it is or look at it from a different perspective than what you normally. It's also an energy where you could be looking for more synchronicities or you might be feeling like slowing down a little bit, taking time to notice things, taking time, time to notice the uh, coincidences or the synchronicities and things, um, perhaps understanding how things could be linked or it could be just simply advising you to slow down, to be able to take time to smell the roses, as it were, and to be able to understand and appreciate the the way in which things are connected, as well as the way in which people are connected, and to engage in more creativity or allow more creativity in your life. I don't usually read the cards in the reverse, but I've decided anyway to leave this card sitting the way it is here. Um, not for oracle card readings anyway. I do read the cards in reverse if they are tarot cards. But here we have seashells and it looks like it might you might be able to take this creative energy from the um, bubbler crab that you get in the first part of the month and be able to focus it a little bit more. Be able to uh, let it come into some kind of formation which allows you to uh, work with this energy, to work with uh, to direct it better. So I feel like this bubbler crab is an inspiration and the seashells 
is the product of that inspiration. It's the, an ability for you to be able to direct or focus or channel the energy that you've received in order to be able to make it work for you, to be able to make it make it productive for you or, or to be able to assist you or enhance you or to be able to support you in some kind of way. It's also an, a card of inspiration, a card that's almost calling you somewhere. It's calling you to a certain place, to a far off land, to a place that beckons you, to an idea that can be. It's almost like it's calling you in some kind of way to some place that you need to be at. It's like there's this guidance coming to you and it, you have to, you know, listen, quieten and listen to what is being said to you and um, and just to concentrate on what might be said to you. Um, for those of you who live near a sea or, you know, even if you have some seashells at home, perhaps it's it's a time where you could put them to your ear and hear them and meditate with them. It's as if you know what action needs to be taken. The inspiration has told you, has given, has fueled you to be able to take the action that's needed and to be able to do so in a way where we take into account the bigger picture of things and where we can trust our intuition, trust our instincts and understand where it is that we need to go. Um, I feel like the seashells card here, it's, you know, a representative of water, which is of the, um, you know, representing our intuition and the ability to guide ourselves. And perhaps it just offers you um, the guidance and the support that you need to be able to get through any kind of challenging situation. So I feel like April is a month where you're not just going to have this creativity and this vigor and this renewed motivation, but you're also going to be able to direct it in a particular way that's going to help you to overcome certain things, to be able to move in a particular direction, to be able to take action in a particular direction and feel empowered as a result of it. And perhaps feel empowered in a space which may have previously brought you fear or apprehension and or created apprehension. So it's as if you are able to come, overcome any kind of apprehension that you might be feeling and just be able to trust your instincts and not question your intuition, not question or doubt your 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 ability or your your capacity to manage yourself within particular situations and just go with the flow, just, you know, trust and go with the flow and listen to the guidance that's coming your way. And then we have the albatross here. And the albatross is, um, the albatross energy is one of, well, it says here endurance, but it's one of great wisdom, you know, I feel like the month of April, as you come towards the end of April, you're going to be able to get in touch with your wisdom and you might be able to, you might feel a bit wary of, um, of your people around you or of things around you. You might feel a bit separate from those around you in that you have gone through situations or have had experiences which set you apart from others because you now have more experience, you have more knowledge, you have a bird's eye view of what the situation may be. You've been around long enough in this particular situation to understand how things work and what it is that you need to do. And it's almost as if you are now, um, you're wise and you understand what you can expect from a situation. And you are able to endure, you're able to withstand difficulty and you might want to or feel like spending time alone and um, you might also feel like there's something drawing you towards some degree of solitude. Um, you might feel stronger when you, when you feel alone, when you are alone, I mean, um, and you might be seeking some of that. 
um, time for yourself. I feel like whatever it is that you need to endure at this time, at the end of April, you will be able to do so gracefully and without any difficulty, with quite a lot of ease, simply because of the strength that you have acquired as a result of the experiences that you've had, um, which led you to where you are right now. Um, I also think here that if you you might be tested in some kind of way where you are uh, then required to show your patience and show your wisdom that you've acquired and and your endurance and you this is a warning or a kind of a, a notice uh, of that that it might be that you are tested and that you, it's it's a recommendation to to just move through it gracefully and with strength whatever it is that you may be tested with i'm not saying that everyone will but um it's it's just something that might happen for some of you. Whatever it is, though, I think as you end the month of April and move into May, you might find that you are seeking solitude. You are seeking that time of rest and time of aloneness that you might need just to refuel yourself again. And um, it's quite a different energy. A much heavier energy than what you began the month with, which is quite a light, bubbly energy. And I feel like the first card, the bubbler crab here, it's almost like it's holding the week one and two of April. And then the week three of April is your seashells and week four is your albatross. So that is the way in which I'm reading these cards today. And I hope that's helpful for you and valuable for you and once again I'm so sorry that it's come so late this month but I do hope that it's still helping you and I'm wishing you many many blessings from Kismet Rising okay so have a blessed April and until May and so for those of you who've chosen the option number two we are asking, what is the Oracle card guidance that we need to receive for the month of April 2023? And as I've said already in, early on in this video, um, I'd like to apologize for um, making this video very late this month. I had been ill in the last week and it was very difficult um, to be able to do anything and not I wasn't able to to actually create this video until now so i hope that it's still going to be valid for you and you could still benefit from it as the month goes along so let's see what we have here so here we have the reef we have penguins and we have rock pool and the first thing that comes to mind for me is community when i see these cards because on the reef you have pe you have different species living together in harmony and in a way th in which they are interdependent on one another. Similarly with the card penguins here, there's an interdependence uh, with penguins amongst each other, with their life partner, with with their families and um, they are not afraid to ask for help when they need to. And in rock pools, fish find themselves, or species find themselves, in a different environment where they need to learn to exist again, also in harmony with other species which they may not have encountered before. And they learn to thrive in this new environment. They are pioneers in a way that learn to begin to, to thrive in this environment, which is uh, adjacent to their actual, what w would, was potentially their previous habitat. So you have a, s a situation here where 
It seems like April is going to be a month where you are going to be thrust amongst people, amongst other people, you're going to be thrust upon them, or amongst them rather, and there's a need to be open to asking others for help. There's a need to be open to people in your environment as well as in your community and to be able to ask for help, to be able to engage, to to generally just be there. So if you have been somebody who has been um, reclusive for a while, this is a card that's definitely talking to you about getting out there, about being more with people, about not being afraid to ask for help if you need it, about being able to find someone you can trust, somebody that you can confide in, somebody that you can rely on. And uh, I feel like this card, the reef here, is talking really about the vibrancy of um, urban environments almost. Like if you think of a market, you know, different traders, different people, that kind of environment where you all people are coming in and out, different people coming in and out of your life, um, or different traders are there uh, serving different functions. And there's this harmony where there's a lot of people, um, greater traffic, but there's harmony because each one has a purpose and they know where they fit in. And they know when to come in and when to leave. So there's the sense that as you begin uh, April or as you move through April, that there is a place for each person that is in your life. And there is an order, uh, organized uh, chaos, if you could call it that. There's order to the whatever is going on, to whatever may be hectic or busy, there is also a sense that um, uh, with penguins here that if you feel the need to retreat, you could retreat into you with your family and friends and have a more intimate environment and not necessarily just be on the reef with loads of people coming in and out of your life. There's And then as you move through the month, there's also the sense that um, there's a need for you to to depend on your on yourself also while still having people in your environment while still having those the the support that you need but branching out on your own and creating newness in your life um, in this rock pool the rock pool card is also referring to healing that takes place, being able to separate yourself from the crowds for a moment to be able to create healing in your life and to be able to um, feel at one with yourself, to be able to take that moment of silence and space, even when you're amongst others, even when you're in crowds, even when you are in an environment or in a situation which is quite hectic or busy, you are still able to remove yourself from it all and find the stillness within yourself in order to give yourself what you need um, in order to replenish yourself. So that is actually quite an interesting combination of cards here. And I think that April is asking you also to acknowledge the abundance that you have in your life the reef also represents the abundance that you have in your life, that everything is available to you, that you have access to others, to help, to all that needs that you need in a moment, that your life is vibrant and colorful, and that things can be full of energy and full of life. And there need not be any um, dead spots or blind spots in your life, that it can be clear and um, uncertain. And I feel also that as you move along in April, the card, peng the penguins here, it's asking you to trust. It's asking you to be able to surrender yourself in the arms of another or in the, the care of another or just to be able to uh, allow yourself to depend on another 
um, in some way, to rely on another, to be able to to find the trust that's necessary um, in those around you and just select a few people that you can trust, that you can rely on and to be clear and certain about that as well. And then as you move into the rock pool, as you move in towards the late, late latter part of the month, it's time for rejuvenating yourself, to replenish yourself, spending time in water if you can, um, being able to, even if it's just taking a bath, you know, um, just being able to work with yourself in order to restore your own energy to yourself and to be able to remove any stress that you may have from your life. I feel that April might be a month which it's almost like you feel fed up of this of stress and that you have had a full of stress and you won't have it anymore. It's like you've made a decision not to be stressed any longer or not to entertain stress in your life any longer and that from now on with decisions will be made action will be taken, measures will be taken to ensure that stress is reduced in your life and that you can actually just give yourself what it is that you need, okay? So that is how I see the month of April for you and I hope it will be uh, beneficial for you and I hope that you can have a great month of April um, and once again, I apologize that this video has arrived so late in your inbox or um yeah in your subscriptions all right lots and lots of love and many many blessings from kismet rising and wishing you a fantastic april and for those of you who've chosen the option number three we are asking what is our oracle guidance for the month of april and um, I'm just so sorry that this mes this reading is coming out so late. I was not well in the last week and I wasn't able to uh, put it out at the time at which, at the beginning of April, the 1st of April. And But I hope that this um, the reading will still help you and will still be of benefit to you in the month of April. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. Okay, so we have jellyfish, seashells, and we have the sea anemone. Okay, so this is interesting uh, cards. It looks like April has quite a, a mix of different emotions here, uh, different experiences uh, for you. I feel like the jellyfish here is just talking about being transparent, being clear, being clear with your boundaries, um, not not putting up with any nonsense, um, being clear about what you will accept and what you will not accept, and just, you know, being able to react and respond quickly and clearly without hesitation um, to anything that might happen to you. I feel there's also need to be able to speak to people and clarify a certain things. For instance, if you are waiting on someone to be able to give you something or pay you something, to be able to be very clear about what it is that your intentions are and what it is that the terms and conditions are. Okay, it's about boundaries. It's about being able to assert those boundaries and be able to do it in a way that is protective of you. I feel this card, as well as the sea and the mini, is very much about your protection so April is very much about, can you protect yourself? Are you protecting yourself um, in term physically, uh, emotionally, mentally, financially? Uh, are you able to protect yourself in relationships that you have with others? And, and how is it that you do that? And how clear can you be? And how transparent can you be about it? Rather than beating around the bush, getting just to the point and being very very clear about what it is that you'll allow and what what it is you 
will not allow. There's this card, the seashells, again, it came up in one of the previous readings. And here I feel like these seashells have a story to tell. There's pockets of information that you have that perhaps you've different stories that need to be told, different experiences that need to be expounded upon and that perhaps still need digestion or need to be expressed in a particular way. Perhaps there needs to be some kind of reflection upon experiences that you've had in order for it to be expressed in a particular manner. And so I feel here that you need to that be, you know, this card being between the jellyfish and the sea anemone, it almost says to me that you need to be very um, clear, very protective of yourself, very, um, yeah, very protective about your space, about your time, and to be able to give yourself that time to digest what it is that these experiences are and what they mean to you. Um, because perhaps they have a greater meaning in terms of your life and to be able to um, give yourself the space that you need uh, to, to, and to be able to protect yourself. And I feel that you know, both the sea anemone and the jellyfish is about that. It's about giving yourself the space to protect yourself, more so the sea anemone as opposed to the jellyfish. But just to be able to assert yourself as someone who will take action if your needs are not met or if someone is, um, well, it's not so much if your needs are not met, but rather if, you're, if your boundaries are being crossed, if your boundaries are being blurred and um, just being very clear about that, being very, um, very firm about what it is that is allowed in your life and what is not and being able to have the courage to take that decision and to be able to um, move with that or work with that and and just really um, allow yourself to to progress in that way the jellyfish is also a warning of being a chameleon uh being able to absorb other people's energies when you're an empath you just being able to absorb other people's energies and keeping that energy within you and that being a poison for yourself so where is it that you are not taking care of yourself and as a result of that you are actually hurting yourself and how is it that you can better take care of yourself and, and what is it that you can do for yourself that is going to be more protective of yourself and more protective of that space that you need to give yourself for reflection, uh, for calm, for peace, and for uh, kind of rejuvenation or replenishment or um, just being able to reach with the newer self again. So it's also talking about not becoming like other people while you're like them, not um, doing so out of sympathy or for a need to feel more comfortable um, or just simply for a need for comfort. And so I feel like here that is one of the other meanings um, of this card. I feel also with regard to the seashells, in the previous reading when it came up, it came up as um, a calling for one to listen, to be able to receive information. And I feel like here as well, there's this, the card is um, titled Guidance, and it's about being able to sit quietly and hear what is being said to you, being able to make sure that you have the time to sit quietly and to be able to listen to what needs to be heard, whispers from your own spirit or 
um, messages from your guides or from your ancestors, there is a need to be able to understand what is being said to you, not just hear it, but to understand it and perhaps to implement what these suggestions are as well. The card, the seashell card, is also a card which reminds us of our intuition. It reminds us of our ability to feel and connect with the force of water and the the essence of water. Being able to hear the sound of crashing waves, being able to understand the flow of the ocean, tapping into the uh, wisdom of the greater consciousness and the sea in a mini once you understand and hear the wisdom and you know what you need to do to be able to create the space for yourself to be able to do the healing that is required for you so i feel like april for you is a fantastic month of healing and just being able to give yourself what it is that you need to be able to retreat perhaps a little bit from others and to be able to hear what your own healing needs and what your own calling is in terms of what what it is that you have to give to yourself. It's very much a month where you draw from the wisdom of the consciousness of, of the gods, of your angels, of your ancestors, and to be able to hear that and give to yourself what it is that you need and to be able to protect yourself from other people, to be able to fiercely protect that space of healing for yourself, to give yourself that so that you may heal and that nothing's going to distract you or pull you in a different direction and take you away from what it is that you need to do for yourself. So that is your reading for uh, the month of April, the Oracle card reading. And once again, I'm so sorry, it's so late. Um, I'll definitely make it up for it in the next month. And um, wishing you a very, very blessed April and many, many blessings from Kismet Rising. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.